Hello everyone, it's Eduardo here. Today we're gonna follow one small tutorial to learn how to package your Java application inside a Docker file. Basically, we will use a feature from Docker that is known as multi stage build. It's a, a feature where you can use uh, a more than one from statement inside the same Docker file and, and you can combine more than one Docker image to build and package your application. I created one small Spring Boot application. It's here in my GitHub. You can download. The, per the prior requirements to follow this tutorial is that you have the Docker installation or machine, the GitHub, and some application to perform get and post in, in, in one URL. I am using here the Insomnia application. It's a small application that you can perform just posts and get. You can use any other application that you want, want like the Postman or another one. Basically, let's get started here. We will copy, we'll perform a git clone from the git rub. and um, perform a git clone, clone command also that we have the code we'll here inside the project you will see a docker file let's take a look inside the docker file we have here two statements the first from will download from the the hub, the Docker hub, one image from Maven. This, this image will be necessary to build your application. And the second one is an image with the JDK 8, where our application will be stored and packaged in a newer image to be used later. So, let me exit the Vim. Basically, we will run one command here in the project folder to build and package your application. If you run this command in your machine for the first time, the first step will download the image from the hub. So it takes some time. In my machine it will be more fast because I already executed this command before. In this in this example here we have the all the dependence being downloaded. It's being downloaded not for my local host machine, but to inside the Docker image. It will take some time, about about two minutes in my case. In your case, it will depends of of your internet connection, but it's, it tends to be fast. Let's wait some time. The application that we will run here, it's a small API to manage persons. Uh, we can record some persons with the post and we can consult some persons with the get. The application, it's not persisting in the database, it's just in, in memory, just for the sake of this example here. Let's say it's more some time. Okay, the build is done. Now, after the build is done, the jar file that was generated for this build was packaged in another Docker image and a new one was created. If you perform a Docker image ls, here we can see a new image already created the boot stage build that was the build the the docker image that we create with the build command from docker now it's just a matter of run the docker run command where we will select the boot stage image and we will expose the port where application are running let's run 
the application is starting okay I think it's up and running now we can use uh, this application to perform a get in the URL where the application is running let's get all the persons we have no information yet but you can see here that the get all was performed if you per if we perform a post it's done with suso and if we perform a get again we can see that the person was get well i think it's that we in this tutorial we just compile and package our java application inside another container with this container we can deploy in a cloud environment in our kubernetes and so on thank you for watching see you next time